Machakos County, about 60 kilometers from Kenya's capital, Nairobi, is an area known for its semi-arid climate, making growing crops a difficult process because of inadequate rainfall. In Katumani village, however, a breakthrough has been reached. Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, in partnership with the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, has developed bean varieties that can be able to yield through the harsh conditions of drought. One of the reasons why we developed this bean was to address the issue of drought and heat tolerance. As you are aware, usually in this region, we have a very short growing period of the, the, the crop. So we had to address that short period by developing beans that mature very fast and they are not tolerant because the main issue here is drought. The development of the beans started in 1991 when researchers collected samples of the varieties being grown locally, which were Mwezi Moja and Mwitemania. Once collected, the researchers crossbred these varieties with Katumani bean 1 and 9. The end result was the Katumani X56 and X59, beans that are tolerant to diseases such as rust and charcoal rot. Some of the other beans have been bred with the, the market preference. Like there is the yellow beans, which doesn't have gas, are sweet, and they cook very fast. These beans reach maturity in 60 to 65 days and not 90 days like other bush beans, a huge advantage to farmers who enjoy more yield at a reduced harvest period. The advantage is no matter how little it rains, you will harvest a substantial amount as compared to the regular beans that cannot withstand heat. This bean matures faster and produces a lot of yield depending on how you have prepared your land. The development wouldn't come at a timelier period as leaders from across the world are holding deliberations on how to mitigate climate change which is largely affecting Africa. The interest is to, <coughs> to ensure how do we maintain the levels of, uh, for example, heat, and, 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 and therefore, you know, other research institutions, uh, for example, in Seattle has developed a variety which can tolerate two degrees higher than normally uh, the, the, the upper limit of what the crop can grow. And in that respect, it allows farmers to grow beans beyond the areas that they grow now or under conditions of a relatively higher temperature than they have been growing before. With the development of these drought-resistant varieties, the normal beans may soon be phased out of the market. Uh, most of the old bean varieties that were bred will start becoming increasingly extinct because they are unable to tolerate the increased incidences of drought had increased incidences of heat. And that's why the breeding programs are continually breeding for beans that will tolerate drought and heat. The bean has been reported to also do well in drier parts of the country like Homer Bay and Western Kenya. The potential to export is also expanding, with the varieties being shipped to India, the Middle East and Europe. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.